fact that if an osu cuts your hair or makes your hair you and your entire family will be an osu like go Rocky, go come back to my channel like this video is so natural it's so natural because i'm kind of sad i just got to know about a tradition in Igbo land which is still being practiced like how do you guys do it you treat your own fellow brothers and sisters as slaves like because of a so-called tradition hmm. things are really happening so i'll be sharing with you guys the osu the origin of the osu caste system in Igbo land but before i start this video kindly click on the subscribe button like the video and go down to the comment section like i really need people to comment on this video i really need it because i see no reason why people should be treated as such so the history of the osu system okay you might be thinking there are two classes of people according to them in the Igbo land they have the wadiala and the osu the Wadiala are the freeborn, they are the masters in Igbo land. Why the Osu are regarded as slaves, they are regarded as evil and they are seen as outcasts because of something I don't understand. So I'll be sharing the history with you guys to see, for you guys to see why they are regarded as slaves and outcasts. Long time ago, only God knows when. They said in a certain land, there was this, there was famine, there was outbreak of disease in this land. So the, a man actually went to a forest, he separated himself, he was running, he was running out of the disease, so he was running out of the calamity that was befalling the land. So he went into a forest and while he was in the forest, he prayed to the god the forest god and told the forest god that if the forest god um will actually save him and his family from the calamity of the land he is going to worship the forest god till eternity and the forest god answered his prayer and this man decided gently he made a promise and he decided to serve the forest god all the days of his life him and his family so when the villagers heard what happened they ostracized this man they banished him from their land someone that, that was running out of the land for survival like your land was filled with calamity people were dying i had to run and i prayed to a forest god who saved me and people banished me from your land so from then they called they started calling the man an osu and they never allowed him to mingle with the normal people of the land this was how the word osu came into the Igbo land and this tradition is so strong that even until now this tradition is still being practiced here are some consequences of being an osu I just got to know about this one and the thing is shocking me like tradition customs have eaten deep into the bloods of all these Igbos that's eating deep into us so according to them they said um, the um, freeborn like those that are not also are not are not supposed to drink dance or even have conversation with those that are also like <coughs> like these people are separated they are not seen as human beings and um they they said they they actually reside close to shrines or market places they don't live close to um the wadiala's village like they don't live close to the freeborn villages they live close to shrines or market places or even in thick forests and they said no osu can pray to gods for wadiala that's the freeborn like it's believed it will bring calamity and misfortune because oh this thing is paining me it's paining me it's paining me 
so they said they are not allowed to even pray they're not allowed to break cola not they're not allowed to break cola not in a particular community they believe that if they break cola not it will bring calamity instead of their prayers to be answered it will bring calamity and misfortune to the land and i also heard that if an osu cuts your hair or makes your hair you and your entire family will be an osu like where is that one coming from Oh, well, tradition day you and your entire family will become an osu so if i'm going to make my hair how am i going to identify how will i know that this person is an osu like how how is it even possible oh, well, i don't believe in this tradition and i feel it should be abolished i feel it should be abolished you should not be treating your you should not be discriminating your fellow your fellow brothers and sisters all in the name of customs and tradition and these people are usually subjected to various kind of abuse and discrimination these are the consequences of being an osu talking about their marriage like it's believed that if you if you are not an osu and you marry an osu like nothing is going to go well in your life nothing is going to go on well in your life and you might actually die or your children all your children will die that is what they believe so this thing has been happening for ages this thing has been happening for ages and you guys i just got to find out i just got to find out this particular culture and tradition so i want you guys to go down to the comment section for experience there was this guy he loved this girl he engaged the girl when he went to meet the parents of the girl then I said it was an osu that he was is not going to marry um, their daughter. This guy actually insisted. You know they said love is blind. He flew his wife, like his wife to be abroad, and oh no, the guy did his thing there. Until today, the guy is alive. He's is is like he's bowling. Nothing nothing happened to them. Like I just feel if you believe in this thing, it will work for you. This, these people are your brothers and sisters. So why? Because like if you look at the history of this, their kind of self, the man was just running out of the calamity of the land, and you guys um, um, decided to banish him or ostracize him because he was running for his for the safety of his life and his family. So today, I as of today, um, most people that are regarded as osu don't marry normal people because they look they tag them as being abnormal that's their business um they are not allowed to marry normal people because they feel if you marry them nothing is going to go on well in their life we are not an osu but me i don't like this culture i don't like this tradition you should not be abusing people in different ways you should not be discriminating your own brothers and sisters all in the name of tradition and I'm, and Igbos are usually fond of this so kindly share what you think about this osu case caste system in Ebola